everyone, I am Ray of Fire, and welcome back to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. Got a job for you, 621. Mm -hmm. We've received a request from the Archivist Group. Raven, this request comes from our subsidiary, Schneider. It concerns the Bertram spaceport, which you and V4 brought under our control. Right, I remember that. We've received intel that a stranded PCA fleet is planning to retake the base. Your objective is to intercept the PCA and defend the spaceport. We've deployed an MT squad to support you. Use them as you see fit. That concludes the briefing. Good luck. The PCA are going to be fighting to win. 621. Don't forget you have MT backup. Main system activating combat mode. Okay, so for this Commence mission, mission, we are supposed Wait, to have not right, MT backup. The battle's over already. Huh. Find out what's going on. Interesting. Okay. Hello. Do you oh, read me, Raven? This. I've identified the target. That's the mercenary who took your name. Right. Hello. Let's see how far they can fly. On borrowed wings. Yeah, I love that. I love that head unit so much. I can't wait to. Uh, can't wait to find it. Okay, let's see who's the better Raven. Okay, so that was it. Interesting. That was fun. No new messages. Hello. I've looked into the other Raven, the independent mercenary who attacked you. It turns out that Raven isn't an individual call sign. It's a title. Yep. Passed down generations of mercenaries who champion the free will Raven stands for. Huh. They choose what to fight for and take to the skies in flight. If that's what being a Raven means, then that's the name I want to keep calling you Raven. Interesting. Okay, let's, uh, you know what, let's put that, um, I forget, how do you, uh, how do I add an emblem again, <laughs> I don't even remember, um, I think you just add it here, right, yeah. But I'm not sure how to change it on the profile. So. Yeah, I'm 
not sure how to change it on the profile. Um, pretty sure there's a way. There we go. Edit emblem. Ah! Okay, so apparently you could ch even change your name. Interesting. Oh, nice! So we could get all of the. I didn't know this. Well, I, uh, I was so busy blitzing through all the missions that uh, even on my first playthrough or my first three playthroughs, yeah, it was uh, all just missions all the time. So I completely missed the other features unless they were added, uh, you know, post-release. But uh, who even knows at this point? Uh, let's go do another one. Hello. I have a personal request to ask you. It's about the Angabret Tunnel, which is to be shut down after it was hit by a coral surge. I want to go there and survey the area. Mm -hmm. Even before the coral surge, that place had been all but abandoned. It's an old structure, dating far back into the colonization of Rubicon. There must be items of interest from throughout the planet's history there. As I'm sure you're aware, I have no resources with which to pay you. But I can propose an alternative. Oh. If you find any wrecks left by the PCA, you should try accessing them. Both the corporations and the Rubiconians are gathering data on PCA technology. Whatever you collect, Ooh, okay. I can exchange for credits and transfer the funds to you. That's nice. I've taken a few liberties. Walter thinks you've gone on a geological survey. Thank you for doing this for me, Raven. Main system, activating combat mode. Let's get started, Raven. Sure. I've already located several wrecks that we should be able to recover data from. I'll send the marker data. Mm -hmm. Now, I wonder if there are any uh, secrets in this area which are. would be either parts or log hunt targets. Okay, we have enemies already, so. Wouldn't be too surprised if there are. Wouldn't be too surprised if there are log hunt targets. Or even parts, actually. Hello. I see craft data. I'll exchange it for credits and send them to you later. Coral is able to conduct data and can influence digital equipment. The effects of the coral surge must have brought some of the wrecks back online. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so I don't think it's a good idea to... to fall down there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the correct way to go forward, but... Let's see here. Oh wow, that is a lot of... Uh... A lot of targets. Okay, there's more over here. And maybe I'm not supposed to. Not supposed to take him out. But... Oh wow. Okay, what about that 
Lumians. Uh, text data extracted from a wreck. This appears to come from the writings of Thumb Domain, father of the Liberation Front. How long has it been since I saw her voice? Uh, fear not, she said. There will always be plenty. She told me this as I was imbibing Rubicon's blessings one fateful day. If I were you, I'd never allow this, and I was forever ashamed by my deceit. This seems to be a recording of Domayan, the Liberation Front's ideological leader. But this appears to be something exceptionally personal. Yeah. So what's... Um... What's down there? This data seems valuable too. I'm so glad this is turning into a profitable mission. Let's keep looking, Raven. Sure, uh, I think we may have missed something. something here or oh, oh. Okay. ah got them both is there something on top Generation of AC. Text data extracted from a wreck, the lost auto transcription for a voice log recorded by Professor Nagai, the uh, Rubicon Research Institute director. No, the coral tide is rising at an abnormal rate. This resonance suggests some kind of mutation. Run the calculations, how much time do we have? 47 hours, 2 minutes, 16 seconds. We still have time. Deploy IBIS. According to the timestamp, this was recorded two days before the fires of IBIS. This yep. seems to be about the warning signs of the calamity, right before it struck. Deploy IBIS. Okay, well... If there was a place to find a secret in here, this would have been this would have been it, right? Yeah, that might have been it. So I don't know if we can find um, anything else in here. Hello.
research institute, I see. Okay, another uh, text data from Professor Nagai. Assistant number one has lost his mind. His research has utterly consumed him. Granted, there may be some logic to see Paul's sensory augmentation of human subjects, but no ethical scholar would ever dare cross that point of no return. Mankind is driven mad by possibilities. What does Coral represent, if not sheer potential? This is about the first augmented humans. The same Coral technology that created you. But without it, we never would have made contact. I'm not picking up any more data stores. Aw. If this outing has made you think about Rubicon's past or the nature of Coral, then it was all worth it. I guess so. Okay, mission complete. the deal handler Walter Michigan so Archibus met us halfway I gave them the heavy warship fleet in exchange Balaam's in charge of putting down the beast they also offered some top vespers <laughs> guess they don't trust us better than nothing I'll provide what support I can too yeah you're mad scientists R.E.D. or whatever and that hound of yours Michigan, don't underestimate 621. That hound always delivers. One new message. Hello. Mercenary now. Time to act like one. Geological <sighs> survey? This next mission's all or nothing. Make sure you attend the briefing. Right. Okay. Prototype issued the V60 SNA. Archibus Corporation has issued you with a following prototype part. Uh huh. Stun needle launcher. So, we're gonna need this for the next mission. Which, um, I'm gonna equip right now. It's gonna slow us down a bit. It's a bit heavy. But, yeah, it should work. But, unfortunately, that is all the time I have for this video. However, do look forward to the next one. We're in, uh, we go worm hunting, I think. Again, I have been Ray of Fire. This has been Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon, and you have been spectacular. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And thank you so much just for being here. As always, take care, be safe, make your dreams come true, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.